All right, so one thing you can do before you put your patient in recovery position is uh, you can go ahead and stage them to use a Mylar blanket or an emergency blanket. One of the reasons we use this blanket is to prevent hypothermia. Even on a nice summer day like this, a patient who's been in a traumatic incident and has lost a lot of blood can become hypothermic. The more hypothermic they are, the less they clot. The less they clot, the more they bleed, the more they bleed, the more they die. So. That said, we want to go ahead and keep them as warm as possible to prevent that hypothermia from setting in. So what I've already done, I've kind of pre-staged it here with Dave. I've got the blanket tucked in underneath him lengthwise. And then what I'm going to do, same thing I did earlier, get him in recovery position. Then, so when the blanket's been tucked in underneath him, I can go ahead and just get it around him and turn him into what we call in class is the trauma taco because this keeps him nice and warm and also prevents that hypothermia that we talked about and I am not going to worry about him if he's got a tourniquet on because what I'm going to do then is take my marker and write a T on his forehead or his cheek so that responders know that hey he's got a tourniquet in place so it's just a visual cue for them to, to cue into. Something else too, if they're a bigger person, I can go ahead and put this 52 inch by 84 inch blanket on him lengthwise, but if it's a bigger person, I at least wanna go ahead and make it perpendicular and wrap around their core so that at least the core stays warm and maintains that, that adequate uh, level of temperature.